Hello again, YouTube friends. <laughs> a lot of things have changed. Uh, as you can probably see, there's something very goofy sitting on top of it. Um, this is available through Ally Express. This is an exo cage. Um, I ordered it back in March. Uh, I believe it was March 22nd. And I got it fourth past Friday so that would be uh, first or second um it's it's very nice uh, a lot of people say it looks cool it doesn't look cool blah 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 well sometimes form and function doesn't go hand in hand um like the new tires uh, for those who know my setup, I can't exactly run the stock. I can't hit full throttle with the stock tires. I'll get a stock tire and show you. <clears throat> These are my stock tires. And I'll even show you the size. They're the same size. The treads on this are a little deeper. So, uh, overall... Uh, these are 7.65 inches these what does it say 8 inches um honestly putting it side by side there's not a lot of very large difference the biggest thing is the diameter uh, I, mean, I mean the uh, width is about uh, three quarters of an inch uh, thinner it's the uh, King Motor Pioneers the tread is pretty much the same as Proline. Uh, for the entire, you're gonna need wheel adapters uh, if you get this. Uh, there are several things I'm ha gonna have to go over that I've done. Uh, metal servo gears, uh, metal diff cups, hot racing, uh, hot racing. I think I said pot racing. Um, the Hot Racing uh, Progressive Springs. These aren't the one I have on, of course. Uh, just for a close-up, I'll compare. They all look like this, but you have uh, extra firm, firm, and then medium. So basically, uh, soft, medium, and hard. But here is a regular spring that came off the X-Max. And here is a progressive rate spring. The larger coils, the larger space between the coils takes up more. And for the very, I, I, I think, I'm not exactly sure. I'm not sure if, uh, actually I think the coils that, yeah, the coils that are smaller together take the small bumps. And then the uh, large ones in the center take a... Uh, take the bolt the brunt of the impact the great thing about these is I'm running the uh, extra uh, you have black blue and red I'm not running the red because they're too soft but I'm running uh, black in the front and uh, blue in the rear so I have the uh, hard in the front and the medium in the rear reason for that is same with uh, diff fluid 70 weight in the front, 50 in the rear, or 100 in the front and 70 in the rear, depending on what I'm doing. Uh, general bashing, 70, uh, 50. If you're going to do some pretty extreme jumping, you're going to want to go with uh, 170. Uh, a little more about the cage. The cage was bought through Ally Express. Uh, as of right now, I believe you can get it for $108. I know someone who ordered it after they saw mine. I, I, I believe I was the first person in the U.S. to get it. I saw other people in uh, Hong Kong and places like that that already had them, and even the uh, metal skid plates. I have the entire T-Bone set coming. That was a, uh, $138 shipped. You can get the front bumper, the rear bumper, and all the A-arm skids for $138. All that is coming. It takes them 7 to 10 days to process the order, put it together, and then ship it out. So I'm still waiting on that. 
Um, I had to move my lights, but with the higher BEC voltage, uh, my lights are brighter now. So that's really cool. Uh, like I said, the uh, hot racing uh, metal servo gears, they just swap out. There's uh, four gears that come with it. You just take out the old, put in the new. I've done a video on how to rebuild that servo, so hopefully that'll help if you want to get those gears. How to get to it and how to take it apart. Oh, what else? I know there's a lot. Oh yeah, uh, four more sets. I mean, uh, yeah, four more batteries. Uh, SMC finally has a 9,000 milliamp hour, uh, I believe it's 60C batteries. But I have a buddy who is running uh, four 5,000 milliamp hour batteries. Basically what he does is on each side, he takes two batteries and connects them in parallel and then connects it to the ESC. And on the other side, two batteries in parallel and then connects to the ESC. Basically what that does, if you take the 5,000 milliamp hour battery, he's using Traxxas, I'm going to use uh, bias or venom I get them half off and the C rating is higher uh, so if I was to get the 60 C 5000 milliamp hour batteries and run two parallel on both sides that would give me 10,000 milliamps at 120 C that would be 1200 amps at my disposal the venoms I have I have no complaints about uh, they perform very well all the time um, I love the one year uh, replacement guarantee if anything goes wrong with them they'll replace them and even after the one year is over if something happens half price and for me I already paid half price so I pay half of what I already paid I'm not going to say any figures that's my secret I'm sorry but let's just say less than $50 for a 75 milliamp hour battery. Uh, what else? For those who watched the videos, uh, I am running a uh, 53 uh, tooth pinion and a 50 tooth spur. I'm going to change my spur to a 46. I want to see what that's like because with these tires, the one downside with these tires is you don't get as much grip because there's less surface area. Uh, it, it rips. It literally rips. You can power slide with this thing in the dirt and the grass. It's, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, but you need to put, right now I have a 200k, 200,000 weight silicone oil in the front and 120,000 weight in the rear. Uh, I did all that changing when I put in the metal diff cups because they'd be able to take more. I just hope the spider gears are going to be able to survive. Um, of course, running the uh, hardened uh, spiral cut gears. I've heard of two people thus far that have broken. I honestly think there may be a defect with their particular gears because they're the only ones that have broken. Other people that have them have not broken. Uh, about the XO cage, I'll sort of show it off a little just to see. Uh, it mounts to the uh, quick release, but I will say it is held on in place with uh, body clips. So that sort of fucking sucks, but it works. It works very well. Uh, I've rolled it on asphalt. It's Delrin. It's just going to slide. And no more buying $65 bodies. Hundred dollar bodies, um, hundred, hundred and twenty five uh, for the pro graphics. If you choose that route, uh, wow. Oh, in the rear there are actually wheels. Uh, what they are for? I have no fucking clue. Uh, because if if it flips over, if it flips over like this, the wheels never really come in contact because there's well, yeah, they do just a little. Uh, but it protects this area pretty much. Uh, there's a rear light bar. There's two light buckets on the side. I'll put it this way so you can see. There's these two, uh, I believe those are 10 millimeter. No, hell no. Uh, 
probably three to five millimeter. I'll have to measure it. Uh, let's see if I can find my. I'm not even gonna search. Uh, but that's one really cool. It already comes with screws in it. Uh, the rear light bar. I'm actually going to put some. I already have uh, headlights, but I'm going to add some. In these right here, I'm going to add some. I think I'm pretty sure they're five centim. Uh, shit. I can't get anything out. Uh, about half an inch. I'm going to put white in these. Uh, I have some red strip lighting that I'm going to be putting on it up underneath to give me some underglow. Uh, before the video is done, I'm going to plug it in so you can see how well the lighting is doing now. It's fantastic. I mean, it, le it lights up the entire trail in at night. So I don't have to carry a flashlight, and that's fucking great. Uh, it has a tail light. It did have two, but, uh... Basically, I mounted them on each side. This is the lights I'm using are the GT Power 1 5th slash 1 8th scale lighting. They are perfect for this truck. Losi has come out with a no, new monster truck that is based on the DVXL. It uses the same motor. Very heavy, underpowered. Losi, you should have spent more time. You shouldn't have come come out with something so quickly basically all you did was took the dbxl uh, chassis made longer a arms longer drive shafts uh taller shock towers and uh longer spring uh springs and shocks and you put the weak ass 29 cc motor in it so Maximum speed 30 miles per hour. Wow. People complained about this being slow. The X Max being slow. Well, this is not slow. If if you spend the money uh, getting the 2028 XLX setup, you'll spend about the same as you would on the low seat. And you'll get superior power. You'll get battery uh, brushless power. Uh, I have drained a set of 7,500 milliamp hour, uh, the Venom batteries that I use. I got an hour and two minutes. I was just curious. Uh, how long can I go? And it was pretty much, I mean, full throttle as long as I could. Uh, I'm careful about no abrupt stops or starts because that's when you're going to break gears like if you're doing a wheelie and you slam on the brake guess what when you come down on the front end you're probably going to break a tooth or two on the pinion i haven't seen any rain gears break that's that's the thing it's all breaking at the pinion gear um of course uh this just it mounts to the front bumper and then it just tilts forward like that and that allows you to and the uh the mount all you gotta do is uh, remount two holes well three the two uh, larger holes uh the thing where you put the body clips in they're not long enough so i just put two uh two screws in i drilled out the hole and i believe they are three millimeter screws and they have uh about five millimeter heads so the body clips clip onto it and then the uh pressure of the exoskeleton pulling back up keeps them in place and they actually added zip ties so you can just grab the zip tie and pull it off um i have my wiring set up now my light wiring before the video i will turn it on and show as you can see wire is going to the lighting <coughs> Dusty motors cover. Oh shit, I didn't zip that up. But let's get to the lights. I, I'm pretty happy with my lighting right now. But I am going to add the red lights to give it some more uh, personality.
I'm going to turn off the lights. Give me a sec. Let's put everything back. La, 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 la. Okay. Turn off television. Both of them are playing video games. Yes, I have holes in my pants. And like, oh crap, I got a lamp over here on. But I'll face it in a way that you can see it. That's how bright it is. Uh, facing down, uh, I still got to uh, get the lights just right, but an incredible amount of light in the dark, more than I'll ever need. Uh, and in the back, uh, make sure I can be seen, yeah, have that. Now you can really see how bright it is, and the sun's coming up some, so I'm not even getting the full effect of the uh, lights. So, that's the lighting. It's making the beep, beep, beep because I don't have my transmitter plugged in. Uh, let's turn the lights back on. My transmitter. Here's more batteries. See? Castle connectors. If you're going to go with XLX, please get castle connectors. 200 amp uh, continuous. Uh... One thing I'll sort of go over is uh my to-go bag. It's from the X-Max. My to-go bag has everything. Drill. All the tools I need. Uh glue, shrink wrap, tape, uh flux. Uh, these are extra wheels for my uh, drift car and my touring cars. Traxxas three channel. I'll be getting. Uh, I'm getting Summit in May. Balance uh, uh, battery voltage checker slash balancer. Must have with lipos. Oh. Uh, my, I love this transmitter DX4S. Uh, rock crawling tires, two point, uh, I believe these are two point two. Yeah, two point two. Uh, these are, uh, these are the G made big horns on axial, whatever the hell the wheels are. Parts, extra spare parts, everything for charging. I don't have my chargers in here, but I take my chargers with me because I had a buddy wire this up. I can plug into the cigarette lighter and I can charge in the field without having to use my battery. Or I can use my battery. Uh, let's see. Uh, in the front, uh, I keep all my silicone oil with me. They're just out right now. So there's 10 bottles of these. I have uh, 10 through 50. And then 50 through 100. Um, and then I have my tool kit, which has all the different bits I'll need. Everything from uh, 1.5 millimeter to 3 millimeter, which are the standard sizes. Uh, flat head, Phillips head, triangle bits, say, uh, security bits. A propane torch slash soldering iron. Must have, especially out on the trail. If you fuck up a wire, you can fix it. Uh, of course, extra batteries. Tent gun. Must have extra batteries for uh, trail running. Uh, even more epoxy. Glue. Uh, but that's what I take to the trail with me. Anytime I take an RC out, this goes with me. Because that way I know if something fucks up, I can fix it. I hate being out on the trail and then something breaks and, oh shit, I can't fix it. So I have spare parts that I bring with me. Just minor spare parts. Pins, uh, well, let's look. 
pins, spur gears, uh, tubing, screws, nuts, body clips. Uh, pretty much you name it I have it in here except for like A-arms and stuff like that. Uh, yes, I am using a suitcase. But this is basically my to-go bag. This is what I grab when I go somewhere. It's a tad heavy, but it works. That's what matters to me. Like I said earlier, like with the tires on this thing, form and function sometimes do not go hand in hand. These batteries on, I mean, these tires on 8S power with the 800 kV and 5350 gearing, you will blow these tires up literally, even if you take them. So that's my to-go bag. Uh, also, always have uh, a thousand, no, 500 uh, milliliters of nitro fuel, two nitro starters. You never know when a nitro starter battery may go dead. I need to change them over to lipos. But I mean, things get. Expensive. I mean, you can't have everything you want. I mean, some people are rich. I'm not rich. I just have uh, a decent job where I can purchase things. I mean, I usually, during around the first of the month, I get my paycheck. The first and the 15th. The first of the month, the big check comes in. Around the middle of the month, the, uh, the smaller check comes in usually. And I have uh, usually between $600 and $800 that I can spend per month. Here lately, it's all gone into this. Uh, everything on this that I just did was, including batteries, a little over six, about $650. Uh, 360 cash and a little over 400 on credit. So, but that's how the X Max sits as of right now. Um, like usual, got any questions, comments, high fives? Comments there, yeah, they're down there. Um, that's it. Like I said, got any questions, uh, I'll unplug it before I go to doing anything else. I can't move my body that far or the lights will come unplugged. But the castle connectors, I 100% I recommend them because in order to have good current flow, there are two things you must have. Surface area and a very tight connection. If one of those two is missing, you're not going to be able to have the amount of current flow that you want slash need. Now these wires are already pain in the ass. I need to figure something out so that it won't get in the way. There we go. And see, the body goes back on like that. I mean, everybody knows how the body goes on. And then, uh, I'll back it up. You can see the uh, front of the exo cage is connected to the front bumper. A lot of people say the front bumper is uh, a weak point. Not for me. Don't run into shit. <coughs> <coughs> but then the exo cage just uh, sort of open, uh, opens and closes like a sports car hood from the front instead of from the windshield, the windscreen windshield, wherever you're from, it's going to be called different things, windscreen in Europe, windshield in uh, America. But this is the beast. Shit. Body clips. Where'd the body clips go? Figures. Oh, well, I'll find them. But that's the X Max as she sits. Hope y'all enjoyed. Peace.